Hey everyone, Eric here from AHA, and today we get to talk about the integration between AHA Roadmaps and Jira. So as a product team, you use AHA Roadmaps to set your strategy and prioritize work. And when you send records from AHA Roadmaps to an engineering team in Jira for implementation, it's really important that that strategic context comes along with the records, right? It's just about as important that you get information back though. Effort estimations, progress updates, any sort of collaborative communication and comments between you and the engineers will really help you both achieve your goals. So we designed this integration intentionally to be very quick to set up. You and I will do it together in just a couple minutes to be highly configurable so we can customize it for your particular Atlassian product or any fields you want to map differently. We'll do a little bit of that as well. And then of course, very, very quick. So this can be bi-directional if you want it to be and you can get up to the minute progress updates on the status of your goals. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we're here in the Fredwin Cycling Demo Product Workspace, Naha Roadmaps. And because I'm a workspace owner here, I can jump up to Settings, Workspace, and create a new integration right there with one of over 30 different tools. I bet you can guess which one we'll choose. Uh, that's right, Jira. Let's jump into that integration configuration. So what you see right here is a five-step process. We'll start with naming the integration. I suggest something a little more unique than just Jira if you have multiple integrations in your account. Um, and if you do use multiple integrations in your account, you might consider using a configuration template, which will keep the same configuration even when different workspaces are linking to different projects. Let's jump ahead and link the two accounts together. So you can see I, I already have my AHA Roadmaps account credentials. These are the Jira account credentials. I've validated the certificates. So we're ready to link a specific AHA Roadmaps workspace, Fredvin Cycling, to a specific Jira project, which I've selected as well. You'd select your own project and board here. And then it gets fun on the mapping step. So when you first load this page, it'll be pre-populated with some of the most common mappings between record types and between fields but there's a lot of different ways to do this. So we have a great knowledge base article right here on some common use cases for linking uh, different record types together between AHA Roadmaps and Jira. Give this a read, try some things out, see what fits your team. If you have any questions, obviously come find us, but it's really simple to set up yourself. So we've got AHA Roadmaps here. These are the different record types and Jira. These are the different record types over on there. This controls not only what record types link together, but the parent child relationships between the two record types. Um, so for example, features can be children of AHA Roadmap epics, that sort of thing. Let's move one level down into the field mapping. So any field on the AHA Roadmaps custom layout can link to any other field on the JIRA layout. For example, name and summary probably link together correctly, but if I open this up, I could choose any different field, custom or otherwise, that's available for me on the JIRA side. I can also choose the direction of the integration. Right now it's bi-directional, but it could be one way, continuous or set once, uh, going in either direction, just with a click a button there. And then the last thing to fix is status mappings. So here's the AHA Roadmaps workflow, here's the JIRA workflow, and things are not quite right. When something's shipped, it's also done. You can see I can link multiple different statuses together. And when something's in development or ready to ship, it's also in progress. This is a nice setup. This means that when things are under consideration in definition or in design, they're for the product team to figure out. But once it moves over to development, then they get something that says ready to develop over here, which matches with to do right there. I can click this button to match like values if I wanted to do it automatically. Um, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to map things together like that. And we'll move on, save our changes here and go to the final step. So here's our last couple choices. I have uh, the WebHIP URL. It's really important that the user selected here has the appropriate user permissions in both AHA Roadmaps and in the JIRA project you selected uh, to see all the fields and to have access to those different workspaces or projects. So keep an eye out for that. And then our last selection here is whether you want things to be automatically sent and imported between the two tools or if you want to manually review them. This automatic sending here is for changes to records that are already synced. It's not going to automatically send records from your workspace into JIRA. We'll do that in just a little bit. But you can choose when you do update those synced records, whether you want those changes to be automatic or if you want another screen to approve them. And then this import here, Automatic import does actually import newly created records from Jira based on what we've done in mapping in the previous couple steps. So you can import your Jira backlog into AHA Roadmaps and you can choose to do that automatically. Just take the whole project or whether you want to approve the records before importing. Okay, that's it. That's the five steps. Let's look at this in 
action. This is my AHA Roadmaps feature board. A couple neat things to show you here. Each of these cards represent features and you can see I've customized my feature cards to show integration links. If I click that link, I'll go straight over to Jira and see the equivalent record on the Jira side. But I can also show you, let's open up fitness goals here, how easy it is to create that link in the first place. So on my integration fields, I have a couple of integrations active. I'm going to send this one to Jira. It's sending over. It'll take just a little bit to send from AHA Roadmaps over to Jira. And based on my field mappings, we'll see everything that actually sends. So the record description, the name and summary, you remember. And there, it's already done. We've got it sent to a user story right here. And if I click this link, I'll head straight over to the Jira project. If I have appropriate permissions, I can see there it is. There's my Jira user story. And as developers work on it, progress updates will come back and forth between the two tools. Okay, that's it. That's the Jira integration between Jira and AHA Roadmaps. If you have any questions, um, jump up here to the question box on your toolbar there. Search the knowledge base for some great content. We have a lot of great Jira content in there already, or send us a message here with the product expert button. We don't have any salespeople here at AHA. We just have product experts who respond very, very quickly to help get you unblocked and on your way. All right, enjoy the integration.